welcome to my channel I'm Megan Victoria if you're new hello welcome my name is Megan I'm a pro hair makeup artist and I put out two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays today it is disgustingly stormy snowing crazy outside so I decided I just want to put all of the color on my face and I'm I don't know this could be like a festival look this could be a colorful look this can be whatever you like if you want to go to the grocery store girl you pick up your milk wearing this look but I just wanted to do something really colorful and beautiful on the eyes use some new products and I tried to keep it a little bit more toned down with like more of a natural lip but you could totally obviously go for that pop of color go for that wow factor but yeah this is the look if you'd like to see how I get this look then please just keep on watching all right so let's get started so the first thing I'm gonna take is my jumbo shadow pencil the in milk and apply this all over the eyelid so we can really make sure those colors are popping and yes I did get lash extensions I did like a modeling thing for it so I've got some thick caterpillars so we're gonna work around that cuz I'm actually not sure how this is gonna go we shall see. You can just take a little brush or your finger and blend this out. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is create like a nice crease color. So I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Elements palette. I'm going to grab this really pretty pink shade right here called Dream Dreamweaver. And it's more of like a matte pink, which is perfect because I do want to kind of create a little bit transition in the crease area. Damn. I'm gonna jump into my Violet Voss palette. I'm gonna grab the shade Hashtag, which is that really beautiful, like, orangey, pumpkin-y orange. And I'm just gonna lightly go over kind of the top of that crease color just to get a little bit of that orangey transition going into the highlight, which I think is really pretty. And then speaking of our brow bone highlight, we're gonna go and take the shade Breakaway in our Urban Decay Born to Run palette, one of my favorite palettes and I'm gonna just pop that on the brow bone highlight. It just has a really nice warm iridescence, so it's just gonna be very complimentary to kind of the orangey tone we have going on underneath. You can just take your brush and give it a little blend. All right, so I have this really pretty palette from Lula Cosmetics, and it has all these really bright colors that I was like, yo, I wanna play with all of them. So I'm first going to go in to this shade called Intoxicate, which is this really pretty kind of pink with like a purple undertone and this is where we're gonna get this into the crease right underneath the pink that really like woke this look up like that's so electric it's beautiful so i'm just gonna blend all of those colors together and just because that really brightened everything up i'm gonna go back and take a little bit more of that hashtag shade and just kind of add it to that gradation slowly building up kind of our color intensity as we go now because my lashes are a little bit more of that rounded style i want to do more of a spotlight eye so we're going to play with kind of these like purpley bluey kind of colors down here so the first shade we're going to take is this vip shade you can take this on your finger but just because of the lashes i'm just going to use a brush so i'll just pick up a little bit of that and i'm going to place that on the inner third and the outer third of the lid leaving that kind of center area blank and then we're gonna go into the shade Casino, which is like a really cool, like indigo iridescent kind of color. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and work that more on the outer corner, just for a little bit more depth and definition, and then do the same on the inner corner. That color's really cool, I really like that. Then because I think it's such a pretty color, I'm gonna just take a little bit of that, kind of run that into the crease area. I think that could give a really nice little bit of extra definition just kind of give us a bit more of a crease and then we'll blend that out after then I'll just take a little bit of that intoxicate like that light that pretty pink color and we'll just blend out that line that's so pretty <gasps> yay <laughs> alright let's do the other eye a little on the outer corner and then we'll take it again into the crease a little bit just really kind of outline the crease and then just kind of trust that the blend will soften it. Alright, so as you can see, we've got like that little space in the center of the lid. I'm going to put a little bit more of that Milk Jumbo pencil just so we can really bring kind of the light reflection to that area. Okay, so back into our Elements palette, we have this like smoky lavender color that I think is super pretty. So I'm just going to take a touch of that. And pop that right where that pencil we placed. 
You want to just take that small little brush and take a little bit maybe that pink shade and the purple and we're just going to kind of work a little bit more color around this kind of shimmer moment and just blend that out softly. Very much just kind of like a watercolor of shimmer. We can go back and just take a little bit more of that smoky lavender shade and I'm going to blend that into the rest of the look. Now if you really want that pop, we'll just go in with that straight white just like on your pinky. You can just like tap right on top just so there's a really nice focal point of shimmer. It's just like a NYX eyeliner. It's purple and then we'll just do a wing right across. Actually I think we're just going to keep it to a line just because I want to keep that rounded shape. So we're just going to line across without actually like winging it out. So for foundation, since this is obviously an intense look, we might as well just go the whole intense route. But first, I haven't used this in a while, so I definitely want to use this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I love this. Gives the foundation an extra bit of glowy dewiness, especially when it's a full coverage foundation. Always need a little extra glow. So I can rub this in first. Make Forever, Make It Forever Ultra HD Matte Velvet, there's a lot of words, um, foundation ago. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to do that, but I think I'm going to mix it with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury. This, you can clearly see it's winter because it won't even come out of the package. It's so cold. And we'll just take a little bit of that and dot that on the skin with a little bit of our Charlotte Tilbury mixed in just for the right color because, unfortunately... Winter is upon us and I am pale. All right, so we have a fair bit of coverage. I'm still sticking with trying to do a less product on my forehead, but I don't know where my salmon concealer went, so I have my liquid salmon concealer, which, which also works well. So if you do like kind of the format of a stick, you may like this a little bit better as well. It is lunchtime and there's a school not too far from here and I can already hear the children. All right, and then we'll blend that in under the eyes. Then I'm going to be mixing my concealers, so I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, the new one. So I like to kind of just take the one that's more close to my skin tone, so this is shade 22, or no, it's 21, and just apply that like so under the eyes. It just gives a little bit more warmth and coverage, which I like. So see how that doesn't really do too much brightening, it just kind of gives a little bit more coverage and a little bit more lift to the under eyes, but I do want to give some brightening, so I'm going to take the shade 12. And we'll apply that right kind of on top and then to the spots that we want to bring forward like the tip of the nose nose bridge a little bit on the forehead and a little bit on the cupid's bow and then sometimes on the smile lines like that all right so now you can see we've got like the brightening going on and that makes a big difference when kind of doing like highlighting and contouring so if you really were going to a festival or wanted this makeup to really, you know, last throughout the heat, like the number one, the Makeup Forever foundation is amazing for that. It's basically friggin' waterproof. Phenomenal. But I actually would suggest baking, and you'll never really hear me say that. But if you are going out in the heat, you really do want to kind of press those products in. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I'm going to make sure all the creases are tapped out because you don't want to, like, bake creases. And then I'm going to push that powder underneath the eyes. I'm not necessarily baking because I just can't, it freaks me out, but I'm gonna just really kind of take my time to press a decent amount of powder underneath the eyes and just so it really press, presses into the skin. And then for the center face, if you're just giving it, like let's just go into some pressed powder. So this is my NARS pressed powder and I'll just take this and kind of tap around the center of the face for a bit more coverage. And then just take whatever's powder is kind of left over and you can just go around the outside of the face if you're, you know, trying to be a little lighter handed on the powder like me. All right, so for the outside of the face, we're going to take some good old fashioned Hoola bronzer. I think I'm going to do like a general glow, but I think first we're just going to chisel out the cheekbones because I do want a little bit more of a kind of snatched look. I still do use like a wider brush though because well number one I have giant ass face we all know this but also it just kind of gives a softer look. So the last thing you really want is that like really harsh line. And then we'll just take it and bring it along the forehead. And for blush I just want something really pretty and pink so I'm just going to take the pure kinky blush. It's like totally a dupe for the orgasm you know it's just like pink with that really beautiful like gold reflex and we'll just brush this on the cheeks. to tie the eyes in. 
cute. Highlighter, I think we're gonna use our Pixie highlighter. So we'll grab, our, we'll mix them, why not? Like a little bit of the champagne, a little bit more of the pink. Mix them together and then apply these. I think I'm also just going to contour my nose a little bit since this is more of a dramatic look. So I'll just take my Hula Bronzer. This is all I do. I just very lightly will run it kind of just down the sides of the nose. Just gives a little bit more definition, especially in photos, which I really do like. Nothing crazy. That's it. Okay. Alright, so as usual, I'm just going to jump off, do my brows, I'll be right back, and I will do like a brow video soon because I have been getting a lot of questions like how I do my brows, and I think I can do like an in-depth one if you guys want to see that, but like I said, I'm going to be right back. Alright, so uh, lashes are brushed because that's really important if you have lash extensions, you really need to comb them so they stay fluffy and beautiful, and brows are on. So moving on, let's do our lower lash line because I totally forgot about that story of my life. Okay, I was gonna like do some other colors, but I think I kind of really enjoy this like purpley theme we got going on. So first I'm just gonna use this pixie pencil, it's purple. I'm going to line the lash line and also the waterline. Then right away I'm gonna go into the pinky shade, so intoxicate just on a little flat brush and smudge that all over the purple. I'm gonna blend that out and down and just kind of really smoke it out and soften it. And we'll also just go into that Elements palette and grab that like matte pink just to kind of blend that out right underneath and get that pinky tone kind of really like smoking it out and softening it. And then while we're here, I do want to take that smoky vanilla lavender shade and apply that to the inner corner just so there's a little bit of shimmer going on. Just so that like kind of opens up the eyes. And then lastly, we're going to go back into our Lula Cosmetics palette and grab that really beautiful periwinkle shade and we're gonna apply that more on like setting the waterline color and just right at the base of the lashes and that's just gonna really give that smoky effect okay so now we're super sultry so I'm gonna go do mascara on the bottom lashes then we're on to lips all right so for lips I'm gonna start with this mauve lip liner from NYX and we'll line the lip then I'm going to take this lipstick from NYX. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in Dainty Days. It's just like straight up nude. And then once you have that base, I'm going to go with my Buxom in Mykonos Sunrise, which just like gives me the same vibes as the look, so it's perfect. And this is just going to give it that peachy tone back. You obviously can do whatever you want for the lip color, but I think this just kind of grounds the look and lets the eyes, like, have their moment. She cute. Okay. I'm just going to take a tiny little brush just for, like, some finishing touches. I'm just going to go into that, like, white and maybe we'll, like, go from the white into that, like, smoky lavender. I just want to really kind of brighten up that inner corner. Have that, like, moment. Alright guys, but that completes our final look. Alright guys, so there we have it. I really hope you enjoy this look. It's so fun. I'm about to go like to meetings today and like do, you know, some like actual businessy things and I'm just gonna walk all up in these offices like rainbow. We are here. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, and especially suggestions for new videos, always love that. Please make use of the down bar below. All the products will be there. All that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on Thursday for Thursday's video. Bye! Mwah.